Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show you how Sardius works on Steam Deck. So I have connected the Steam Deck through a USB-C hub to a display, to a capture card. So I'm gonna capture some gameplay, very quick, very quick, quick demo to show you how it works. So first, for, first of all, there's the controller layout and there are two options. Uh, one option is generic controller like where you use only the um, buttons and uh, triggers then there's also a alternative layout for and like mm, if you like RimWorld controls on steam deck you could try this one uh, then it would be like uh, similar to that but i'm gonna i'm gonna use the default controls the controller like because i'm kind of more used to this rather than this virtual mouse thing that most games use yeah so i'll be i'll be uh, starting a new game and just gonna go through the tutorial so we're gonna go to settings i'm gonna show you in the video there's like this resolution here uh, i don't know this is not native steam deck resolution native should be 1280 times 800 but since i plugged in a monitor which is probably different aspect ratio steam deck decided to use this resolution but the rest should be absolutely identical yeah so let's uh, let's begin a new game real quick just gonna start it so i'm using the steam deck controls to drive uh, to drive everything but the steam uh, deck display is not showing anything because it's routing the visuals through through this oh and i also could enable the audio so you could you could hear what's going on in the game there we go right so let's uh, go through real quick so you can see on top 60 fps and i can also enable um some performance stats for you if you're interested hope they will not cover too much uh, yeah so maybe let's skip the tutorial I'm just going to just going to do a quick Ooh, we started in a bad place here everything is heavily damaged uh, let's fix some damage like that So what do we have here? There are three objects in the save areas. We can relocate them. So let's relocate them to our survivor zone over here. And ooh, that's a problem. The survivor zone here has a hole. Let's actually patch it up real quick. Or we will, we will uh, soon run out of oxygen because it should be leaking through this. Yeah. <clears throat> we could bump up the priority. All right, and as you can see, it's smooth 60 FPS. The graph here doesn't show any spikes. The game is running at maximum speed. Of course, uh, this is running with, uh, this is running with like early game here. So it's not a fair comparison, but I do have some saves that are huge. So let me just quickly let you see how the game runs, uh, how well the game runs. If we load something like this one, a save with 146 hours of playtime in it, it's a massive spaceship. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> it might be a little bit less smooth than, than the early game, but still super playable. So there we go. This is a massive ship. And let's do some something I like. Let's select everything in the map. Now we can see that everything is selected and the frame rate is still, well, it's 49 FPS. It's not perfect, but, but uh, definitely very playable. Yeah, so Yeah, that's how you that's how you play the game. So uh, you can basically do absolutely everything you can do with uh, the mouse. 
And you can also switch to that other uh, control scheme if you want. Uh, where's this thing? Something is a bit off with the Steam Deck right now. And it's running on battery, it's not connected to power. Anyway, so that was Stardeus uh, on the Steam Deck. As you can see, fully playable. I have played myself uh, and I do have like tons of saves. I spent tons of time playing the, the game on Steam Deck. For example, like this save here, 15 hours, everything was done just on the Steam Deck. All this ship was, uh, the ship was built just on the Steam Deck. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked Stardust. Uh, you can add it to wishlist on Steam. And uh, see you in the next video.